guys, Fairy Trainer and Capwee from Capwee Fitness. I just gotta take a second. Man, this is special. I really gotta love with you guys. So if you've been following my story, you know I've had a whirlwind transitioning into the sport of powerlifting, including breaking a world record in my first year, which is unfathomable. So anyways, let's step back a second. Right now, I am two weeks out from Provincials, and the reason it's so special, so close to my heart, is because last year at this time was the very first time I broke the Canadian National Deadlift record. It was a great moment for me, but then my next two powerlifting meets after that, I re-broke the record, including hitting a world record at the World Powerlifting Championships, which were in Sweden in June of this past year. So now I've come full circle, back to the anniversary, and here I have the opportunity of four-peating on that record and hitting an unofficial world record. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped up, I'm pretty stoked, and the reason it isn't unofficial is because you can only hit world records at international events, so I'm still looking and beating that total, which, that number, which is right now around 720, so I want to chip that, but this is honestly huge for me, and it's humbling to see how far I've progressed in this sport in such a short amount of time through my hard work. Obviously, I was doing strength training for a number of years before I actually stepped into powerlifting, so it's not like I just jumped in there, but it really is humbling. I'm so happy with the progress. I'm so happy for you guys who have supported me along this way. So anyways, we are heading into the gym for my last heavy deadlift session before Provincials. I'm hoping to get upwards of the 700 pound mark, so we'll see how that goes. I want to stop talking. Let's get to the gym and see how things go. Serious when I'm putting on the ballerina slippers, or as we call the ninja slippers. Keep me graceful. I also got to change after work, so I've got my trusty dress socks, go well dress pants, and ballerina slippers. Normally I do a pit stop after 495 and 545. Feeling good today, so we're jumping straight to 585. We'll see if we can good call or bad call after this set. But generally, I'd like to spend as little as little energy as possible to have a top set. So if this works out, smooth sailing. Also getting spicy. Tarps on. <laughs> yep. Good cough. What do you think, coach? Looks good, sir. Looks good. We're on pace. What's the next one's a big question. 700. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Here's the big moment, top set of 705 pounds. Why are you taking time off? Just leave the weight. Jesus, that was very 
very well, sir. Sorry, <laughs> provincial. No record seen. <laughs> so that was 705 pounds. And I gave you the longer uncut story of my intro of this video so you understand the significance of how this is on the eve, not the eve, what's the word when you come full circle? Anniversary. Oh! On the anniversary of the first time I broke the record. So this is, this is close to heart. This is when we break in a national record and possibly an unofficial world record. So next I got to the volume, I got four sets by three. I'm gonna drop the weight back down to 585. 585, just keep the weight moving. And then I'm gonna, after the gym, hit Costco, get some food, get some grub, and then I'm just gonna, just gonna talk to you guys for a little bit. So let's hit this set, and then stretch, and get on out of here. Kinda hard to get pumped up for work after a big single. Yeah, it's a little bit of a drop. Conservatively seven, probably lower, but let's let's keep. <laughs> Hands in the pocket. Hands in the pocket. Hands so. clinging. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the last cut we want to show you from the gym. I got three more sets of this. They know I like my stretch and mobility. So we're gonna hit that too. And then we're going to hit Costco. We want to talk to you guys a little bit before we sign off. If you want this swag? Links will be in my description. And I will catch you at the grocery store. All right, so we are back from Costco. What did this powerlifter get to feel the rest of his week? Well, hopefully this lasts more than a week because it was an expensive trip and I went grocery shopping yesterday. So we got a pack of steak, pack of chicken breasts, some salmon. So we are good on the protein department. Man, I was walking through the aisle and know at Costco they have all the people on the side which give you the stuff to taste. So. I tried this yakitori chicken with Japanese style fried rice and it was good so I grabbed a, grabbed a pack of that as well. I got some a taco pack, easy to make so I don't spend a lot of time because it's already done for me. And I got my sweet tooth so I got some cinnamon buns. Now what really got me on this trip was look, look at this receipt. Oh. That price tag hurts me, especially since I went grocery shopping the other day. So hopefully I can stretch this out. Anyways, that was my trip. That was my Costco haul. That is what I am putting into this machine. So I basically just weighed in on my trusty scale over here. We are officially a week and a half away from Provincial, so just under two more weeks. That was a recap of my deadlift day. That was my last heavy single going into competition. I'm super happy with how that went. So, I basically just have to trust the process. Next week's going to be a little bit of deload week. So basically on my deload week, I'm going to cut down on my volume. I'm probably just going to do five sets of singles for my big three. I'll probably do squats and bench on Monday, deadlifts on Wednesday. I might do a day of just very heavy walkouts on my squats. So I'll load the bar with something a bit higher than what I plan to do on my third. Just so when I get to competition, I step out with the weight on my back. It doesn't feel as heavy. So that's basically my plan for next week. And then Sunday, Sunday the 3rd, 8.30 a.m. I compete at Provincials. So I'm hoping to bring back that gold, set an unofficial world record, and re-break my Canadian deadlift record for the fourth time in a row. So thanks for watching, guys. If there's anything you want me to cover, uh, let me know in the comments below. I have, another vi I have some more videos with Dr. E that are coming up in the future as well. Um, if you want any of my Cafe Fitness swag, links are in the description. Get Cafe Fit. We will catch you next time.